Partnering up to build your portfolios as big as possible. Dave and Kale, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is episode 125, and I am working with two guys, Kale and Dave. Now, these dudes I've already done uh, some work for, and uh, just a quick little story on you guys for uh, the others who are watching your video. You guys are co-workers, you're, you're oil and gas guys down there in uh, Texas, and you guys are pulling your resources together, and I just wanted to touch on that real quick. You know, I think that's awesome. I think that's smart. If you're watching this uh, out there, anywhere you're watching this, and you're, you're looking to get started in real estate and build your portfolio, but perhaps you don't have that much money to really make a major impact, there is nothing wrong with teaming up, partnering up uh, to get some bigger things done. Pull your resources, guys. That's how I did it, right? Holton Wise. I'm James Wise, my partner, John Holton, right? Uh, both of us had previously purchased rental properties before we teamed up, but we didn't really start exploding and scaling up our business till we got together, right? You know, nobody's really trying to get into this game uh, to, to invest in, you know, long distance real estate and buy like two or three properties, right? If, if you're gonna, if you're trying to buy just like one or two properties, in my opinion, I don't know if it's necessarily worth the, ha worth the hassle. I, I think this is a game of scale. It's a, it's a long-term get rich, slow game. And I think you need, you know, a lot of doors to have it make some sense. So I like what Dave and Kale did. You guys teamed up. Uh, you quickly came in. We got the sale going with the 10 property package. You guys purchased two of those. So you guys got me for at least due diligence on 20 properties, really hitting the ground running. Cause you guys have a decent chunk of money. We're looking to just acquire cash flow, build a big portfolio, do bird deals, yada, yada. So I love that. And I love the fact that you guys partnered. Everybody else out there, I think that's a good idea. You know, if you have X amount of dollars and your buddy's got X amount of dollars, you guys could team up and really stretch those funds, man. It's, it's a smart way to do it. So I want you guys out there thinking of that, right? You know, you can get a nice little group, right? You get four, five, six, seven people together all pulling your funds, right? You go to an attorney, get your operating agreement set up. You know, maybe everybody invests 30, 40, 50 K. And next thing you know, you guys are working with a ton of money. You could build, you know, multi-million dollar portfolios like that. So with all that said, let's get into the properties I've got. Now, Kale, Dave, guys, uh, check this out. Recently, uh, I just did this for a husband-wife couple, actually. Two properties, both bird deals. Uh, both would perfectly fit with what you guys were doing. Uh, you know, they had started me off. We did the 10 property package with those folks as well. And we were kind of very open. That was uh, the first video we did together. And they, they just kind of wanted to see what I'd put together just based on their background. And after I produced it for them, you know, they took some uh, chunks of information out of that video and we decided we're looking for something a little different. We're going to go with the multifamily only route, not necessarily interested in single family are those folks. Uh, so when they had told me that, I thought of you two dudes. I was like, man, these, these properties are not going to work for them. But dude, Dave and Kale, they're already ready for their next video. I mean, I know we got other stuff under contract right now, but you guys are, again, ready to move quick. So I thought of you guys and I'm like, I got to show them uh, the footage here because, man, the, these properties are going to work exactly for what these two dudes are trying to do. So take a look at the footage now. 2116 Forestdale Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This is the first property. It's been listed by Remax for over 130 days, 131 days on the market as of today. That's a long time. List price, 49900 Why has it been on the market for so long and why do I like it for you so much? Well, as you see, it's, it's not pretty, right? There's, there's nothing uh, appealing or pretty about this video, right? If you look at the picture of the kitchen, look on the floor, dude, you got all these tiles there's missing tiles there's tiles like you know all over the place it's just gross we got a mop in between the fridge and the cabinet uh you know the countertops are cluttered with stuff 
everything is outdated. Nothing is is nice here. That's a, a picture of uh, either, I don't know, Moscow maybe or France, I don't know, on the toilet seat next to the vanity that's freaking, I don't know, 50 years old, right? So th there's just nothing uh, appealing about this, right? This old nasty green carpet with this freaking jacked looking blue wall. Like nobody is looking at these photos like, wow, I, I really want to live here. I can't wait to move my family into this home, right? It, it appeals to literally no one. The only appealing factor to this particular property, this particular listing is, is that it's cheap. Uh, it's very, very cheap, but you know, it's just a little, right? And it's uh, currently owned by an owner occupant, right? That's not a tenant. There's no tenants in there. So that's great because there's two types of people that buy properties, right? We have investors. They're looking for rental income. Well, guess what? There's no tenant in here. So we have no rental income coming out of this property. So that leaves us with owner occupant buyers, people that want to live there. But I mean, dude, you just looked at the same photos I did. Who in the hell is looking at that? Like, yes, I cannot wait to move into that house, right? This house sucks. And that is where we're going to try to make a deal happen. Now, I believe we can pick this up for, you know, for 38,000 best case scenario. It's been on the market for 131 days at 49.9. Nobody's biting because of reasons I just mentioned. So our target price, best case scenario, we're going to try to pick it up at 38K. If we got to pick it up at 40, that's fine. It's still going to be a good deal. Uh, 41, 42, right? But nothing really higher than that. And I think we can do it. And then I want to put in $15,000 of renovation. After we put in $15,000, I believe we'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant in this property paying us $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. If we get the tenant and they're paying that $1,000 a month, this is what I expect it to look like. This is our expenses. I believe we're going to spend approximately, on average, $473 a month operating this property. Now, that's not every single month. Every property is not going to produce just like this. This is what you can anticipate with a property like this over the long haul, right? You know, investing in real estate, you're not really like just buying one rental property, right? You guys are seasoned investors. I know you guys have properties in other states, so you kind of know this already, but I'm just trying to explain this to the other folks who may be watching your video down the road when it's released publicly on Holton Live TV. Guys, we can't predict for you how a rental property is going to produce every single year. We can't tell you what every single tenant's going to do. All we can do is give you average data that we can anticipate from neighborhoods in similar risk profiles. As far as the neighborhood goes, right? This particular property is in a neighborhood I would grade currently right now as a D-class neighborhood. Okay, but here is the thing about this particular D-class neighborhood. I think this is the hottest D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. It's on the upswing, in my opinion. We are a hop, skip, and a jump from Metro Health, okay? Metro is going to be putting $1 billion into their campus and the surrounding neighborhoods. So I believe that's going to really help pull this neighborhood up. In addition, solid C-class neighborhood to the south, solid neighborhoods to the west, and the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, Ohio City, Detroit, Shore, Edgewater, Tremont. Gordon Square, all those neighborhoods are right up there to the north, right? So we have a lot of stuff surrounding this particular neighborhood, which makes me believe in the long term, this neighborhood's on the upswing. And what we're doing, we're alleviating as much of those risks as possible right now while it's still D-class, and we're going with the Section 8 program, right? The biggest you know, risk factor when you're, you're in a higher risk neighborhood, right? It's the tenants not being able to pay the rent. And then they got to get evicted. That costs a lot of money. And then when they're already been evicted, the property is vacant and then people break into the property costing you more money. Those are the risks. So if we go with the Section 8 program, it alleviates those risks, right? We're going to get tenants in there with guaranteed government rent. They're probably going to stay longer. Why? Because we're renovating the hell out of this thing. We're putting 15K in. Right now, the property's crummy. Who in the hell wants to live there for the long haul? Nobody, right? It looks like shit, but we're going to make it look beautiful. Put one of the nicest homes that a tenant who's on Section 8 has the opportunity to, to live in. And then the government's paying their rent. There's really no scenario why they'd really need to move, right? So that's going to keep our vacancy down. It's going to keep the rent consistent, right? That should help keep the performance consistent so you can get the performance that I have produced for you in this chart. And because of all the other factors, man, we're able to pick it up for a, a hell of a good price, right? Because I think a lot of other people are running away from this property. It's not turnkey. It's not beautiful. But we can make it that way, and you're going to get compensated for that very good, right? 
So if you pick it up at 38K, my target price, if we put 15K into it, you're going to be all into this investment for 53,000. I believe our target, right? I believe if we do this work that I want to do to this and what I want to renovate this, what I want to do. I want to pull out all these crummy, nasty carpets, refinish the existing hardwoods that are in there, paint the entire thing agreeable gray. I want to paint all the trim white. I want to, you know, put some modern fixtures in the kitchen and the bath, right? I want to make it look good. We do all that. I'm anticipating we're going to get it to appraise for 65K. We get it to appraise for 65K. That means the bank is going to loan you 48750 You guys only spent 53000 in my scenario here. You bought it cash for thirty eight. You put fifteen into it. You're all in for fifty three. We're going to get the bank to loan you forty eight seven fifty back out if it appraises for sixty five, meaning that you're only going to end up with four thousand two hundred fifty dollars in this deal. Beautiful bird deal. It ends up being an eighty eight pay eighty eight percent cash on cash return, right? So this is what I'm talking about when I say we can come very close to what you want to do, right? We can be in that 40 to 55K range with that 900 to 1,000 in rent. But again, you're not getting it in a B class neighborhood. You're not, you're not doing that in one of those neighborhoods for this price, right? But this is what we can accomplish. This is very, very close to that. And I think this is going to be a hell of a deal for you guys. I think this is, uh, should be exactly what you're looking for based upon a, a little modification of what you've told me thus far. Now let's go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, and I'm going to get into the second property that I found for you too. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio, we work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, Christina, Jim, welcome back. Now, this next property, uh, we're going to deviate from your plan just a little bit, right? The previous property, we hit the price point, but we had to deviate from your neighborhood risk tolerance a little bit. We went a little bit below. This one, we're going to be able to hit that. We're in a C-class neighborhood. 215 Gulf Road, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. This one has been listed forever, 530 days, well over a year. Listed currently at 57500 uh, originally, this is why people, this is why sellers, sellers don't understand that sellers think that uh, listing their property at a higher price than they think it's worth uh, or that they're hoping for is somehow going to garner them a, a higher closing price. It doesn't work that way, guys. It just sits on the market forever. Then you end up having to drop your price way down. They originally listed this at like $80,000 and that just sat forever. Now everybody thinks there's something wrong with it because it's been on the market forever. And nobody's picking it up. So we're going to try to pick this up for a cheap price. But after the reno, we're, we're going to be, you know, we're in the neighborhood, but we're going to be a little bit above your, your anticipated price range, right? Because you're going to have to give or take. We're either going to have to uh, deviate on the neighborhood or we're going to have to deviate on your budget here. What I'd like to do is pick this up for you for $45,000. And then this is a big old house. I'd like to, to put in $20,000 of renovations. We're going to do similar things to the last property. But the house is bigger, so we're just going to budget a little bit more money. 65000 should be our all-in price. So we're close, uh, but we're just a little bit above it. And as you can see, right, uh, 
it doesn't look great, right? This is, you know, you got all the furniture and crap from uh, the tenant. It's just old. And we, you know, there's not many pictures to go off of, but what we do see is, is just gross. It's grimy, right? So $20,000 uh, is what I want to put into it, right? And I think we pick it up for 45 k And then we're going to put in a Section 8 tenant paying $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. Now, here's the thing. It's the other thing why I think we can get such a low price, right? It's not even being marketed appropriately, right? As I talked about in the previous property, two types of buyers out there. Buyers that are looking for rental income. Those are the investors and the people that want to move into the house. Well, the agent on this particular property, this agent, man, he shit the bed, dude. He's doing a terrible job for a seller. I mean, I'm, you know, he's a guy out there working at Kiko, uh, Kiko Real Estate. I'm not here to try to bash the guy, but unfortunately, he's uh, not properly marketing his property. Well, unfortunately for his client, fortunately for you, because I think that's what's going to allow us to get it so cheap, right? Because here's the deal. I was trying to get some other follow-up information from him because he never put how much um, the tenant's actually paying, right? So we got a tenant-occupied property. Uh, he's talking about this tenant, but he never tells me how much the tenant's paying in his listing. So I reach out to the dude. I'm like, yo, man, how much the tenant paying? Obviously, that's the most important thing when we're looking at a rental property. Uh, apparently, the tenant moved out, but the guy never bothered to go back to the listing, get new photos showing the property's vacant, and never bothered to sh uh, change the notes that uh, demonstrate this to all the other realtors. So there's all these realtors out there that may have owner-occupied buyers that may be willing to move into this property, but they're not looking at it because they think it's a rental property. They're just passing it by. You can't move into a property if there's already a tenant in there. And then all the rental property investors that are looking at this property, they're reaching out to this cat, seeing how much the rent is, but there ain't no rent. So they're not interested, right? So, you know, the two possible people that could purchase this property, this guy's got it all screwed up. It's not working for either. So that's why I think we can pick it up at a deeply discounted price, 45K. So 45K, all the stuff I talked about for the previous property, we're going to do all that stuff should be about, you know, 20 K and then we'll get that thousand in rent. We're going to go section eight as well. Right. And then what's that going to look like? Well, thousand comes in. I anticipate average spending 467. That's 533 in net operating income. Now the neighborhood nicer, right? It's a C-class neighborhood too. So that's going to help, help us on the appraisal. If we're all into this sucker for 65 k and we get this to appraise for a little bit higher because the property sell for a little higher in this particular neighborhood than the previous neighborhood, I believe we'll get this to appraise for 75000 So you've put 65 k into this. The bank, they should loan you guys 56250 meaning you'll be all into this deal for only $8,750. And that, my friends, is going to be a 41% cash on cash return. And this particular property, it's always going to, well, currently right now, if nothing happened to these neighborhoods, if nothing moved, nothing shifted, this particular property would have a higher resale value. And I anticipate you having a, a lower risk tenant pool. However, the previous video, D-Class Today, I do believe that that neighborhood is going to go up. Whereas this neighborhood, I anticipate to just remain flat. I don't anticipate this neighborhood moving into the B class. I don't anticipate it moving down to the D class. I just anticipate it staying flat at C class. The other one, currently D, but I see it going up. That's just my speculation. All right, dudes, what do you think? I think that's going to be perfect for you guys, what you're trying to do. Uh, like always, just let my team know. Of course, we've emailed this to you in a private email, so... Uh, let myself and my assistants know, and uh, we'll get working with the sellers and try to put these under contract for you guys if that's what you want to do. I think they're no-brainer deals, super solid for you guys, really lets you guys hit the ground running and acquiring all that cash flow, building you guys up as big as possible, as quickly as possible. Everyone else, if you're watching this, just so you know, you're watching this on Holton Wise TV right now, these deals are gone, right? Kale and Dave either took these down or walked away from them and they're gone. They're not on the market any longer. I do not release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV until the dust settles, till the deals are gone. They get sent out a private link. That's what happens when you work with me and my team one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, once the deal is done and the dust settles, then we release it publicly for informational purposes only. So if you guys out there are interested in working with us just like this, just like the husband-wife couple we're doing, 
just like uh, Dave and Kayla are doing. I want you to go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click on the MLS search analysis show, order yourself a package. I highly recommend the 10 property package because it takes time of going back and forth for us to get to know each other. I need to you know, provide you guys with properties. You need to provide me with feedback. You know, I usually like to do two properties in one video. I send it out. I don't just like do all 10 properties, send them to you, right? I do one at a time, get your feedback and we shift, we move, we adjust, right? You know, the perfect example is today's video, right? These two single family properties, I originally did this for another couple and they had decided, you know what, after watching what you had to say, let's shift gears a little bit and let's focus on this route. Let's not do these deals, right? That's how we really accomplish things together, guys. That's how we really build you guys big portfolios. If you want to just get the like the one property analysis, that's cool. Uh, but what you thought you want might not actually be what you really want after I explain all the intricacies and all the details, right? Because, you know, a big common thing I get from a lot of people is I want the property to be X price and make X amount of money. And like, yeah, that's cool, dude. So does everybody. But if it ain't for sale, I can't sell it to you, right? If, you know, you want to buy a Lexus uh, for the same price as a Kia, like, yeah, dude, that's great. Good for you. But, uh, you know, Lexus ain't going to sell you one for the same price of a Kia. So a lot of times I got to, you know, really, you know, temper your expectations on the market, things like that. So that's why the 10 property package makes the most sense. Not to mention these properties, they're out there. They're on the market. Other people have access to these deals, right? These are being publicly advertised by other sources, right? We got 5,000 realtors in the Cleveland market. So every single deal we're trying to work the numbers on, you know, for various reasons, the deal might not got, go through, right? Maybe somebody else comes in and, and swoops it up and, you know, we can't, uh, we can't make a deal happen. Or maybe the target price that I need you guys or I want you guys to get the property for, the target price that I think it makes sense is a really good deal. Maybe the seller, they're not feeling that. They're not uh, interested in that, right? Because, you know, when I do these for you guys, I'm not just talking about the list price, the price the seller wants. I'm talking about the price I want to see you get it for, right? We're trying to acquire real estate at discounted rates, undervalued real estate. We are trying to make money. So the more money that you make, the more money I make for you, that means the less money the seller makes. And, you know, hey, guys, the seller, I think they're at a disadvantage because the, they're not working with me. Uh, they're, they're working with another agent and the majority of agents aren't really focused on this uh, avenue of business, right? They're usually, you know, buy a house to live in type deal, right? Houses are homes, et cetera, right? Well, that's not what we feel like here, right? This, this channel, Holton Wise TV, all this is about is houses being businesses. So I think from the negotiation standpoint, we typically, our side, the buy side has the advantage, but again, they're trying to make money as well. And I can't twist their arm and force them to accept an offer. So again, all those reasons, I think it makes sense to do the whole portfolio package, do the 10 property package, because it takes some time going back and forth to acquire these deals. They're not just sitting on trees like, hey, you want to make a ton of money? Boom, here's a property. It's just magically right there for you, right? Not that easy, guys. This is a tough business. And that's what Holton Wise TV is all about, showing you a full transparent look at the real estate industry. That's enough ranting and raving out of me today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of the Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution 
for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.